What's up team? Today we're going to be doing an awesome experiment. We're going to be testing if we can get this 35% hydrogen peroxide to catch this shirt on fire just by itself. So we're literally going to pour this on here and see if we can get it to spontaneous kaboom! Combust. Um, so as you guys know, you know, there's no way of knowing unless you test it. So let's get to testing. Alright guys, so here's how this is going to work and why this is going to work. Or at least what we think it's gonna work. So hydrogen peroxide, when you pour it out um, onto a substance, this, is, this shirt is primarily cotton, it's 100% cotton. Um, what happens as the hydrogen peroxide gets in contact with things that are organic, um, it breaks down into oxygen gas and water. This is actually the same thing that's happening with the foam fountain of science, it's just that the potassium iodide is speeding that reaction up. Now that reaction is exothermic. So when hydrogen peroxide splits uh, and you get water and then O2 gas, uh, you also get heat. And so if we get enough heat, it'll actually catch something like this, a cotton shirt, on fire. Potentially, if we get it hot enough, then the oxygen gas that is coming off of that reaction will fuel the fire, and then it'll actually just, poof, real quickly, catch on fire, and we'll actually get this thing to catch on fire with just the hydrogen peroxide. Now, if you guys look right here on the side, it actually says right here, it, this symbol right here means that it's an oxidizer. And so while this isn't fuel itself, meaning it's not flammable, I can't catch hydrogen peroxide on fire, it is an oxidizer so it'll aid in catching things on fire. It'll aid in a, a fire that's already going. So if we can somehow get that, uh, that exothermic reaction to the right point, um, it's, it's what is known as a flash point, and then this shirt that is soaked in this hydrogen peroxide should literally just Boom, catch on fire. I presume this is actually gonna take a little bit of time. So uh, we're just gonna, this can kind of be like our first test. And if it works, then we're gonna do it again. Uh, hydrogen peroxide, pretty mean stuff. Don't screw around with this stuff. It looks pretty soaked to me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna step back over here in the shade. All right, so uh, we're gonna monitor this from the shade. It's, it's insanely hot out today. And then uh, if it looks like it's smoking or something's going on over there, we're gonna rush over there with the camera. We're gonna document the living crap out of that. Oh yeah. Okay, so I've just gathered some stuff around the house. It looks like it's dry and looks like it's uh, potentially flammable. So let's go add this to the pot, put some hydrogen peroxide in there. And that, that's just kind of a slow process. We're gonna really pack this down. Really pack it in there. Sometimes there's these um, like haystacks on the inside. They're decomposing. That decomposition is an exothermic reaction. And then we end up with a, uh, like a fire that ends up happening. So we're gonna try to replicate that. Tons of organic material, really tightly packed. And then we're gonna pour an oxidizer on it. Hydrogen peroxide itself does not have a flash point. It is not flammable by itself. However, because when hydrogen peroxide breaks down into oxygen and water, that exothermic reaction can then spontaneously combust flammable materials like this really dried straw grass. And so what we're doing is we're trying to get that combination just right so we can get this chemical fire just to happen on its own. It's a, it's a happy accident. Okay, it's been like two hours. And we're finally starting to see something happen here. We, you see it actually smoke like that? See it's, uh, if you get on the side here, you can actually see it quite a bit. Oh, look at that, wow, look at, wow, wow, wow. Dude, I think it's going down. I think it's, I think it's hit the, the point. You can see that it's burning the grass. It's actually caught on fire right there. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, baby. Come on, you're so close. Come on, girl. Come on, Ooh, don't you're let so us, fine. Don't let us down. Don't let us down. Looks like it wants to catch on fire. It smells like it's already on fire. I just don't see any flame. Might be inside. It's burning like oh, there we go! I yeah, saw it! Yes. Saw it. Yeah. yeah! Oh, there we go! Fire. Yes! Yes! 
Okay, there was fire. There was flame. I saw it. Well, there we go. There, it was a success. That worked. That worked. Oh, you guys saw the flame. There we go. Almost four and a half to five hours later, we got our hydrogen peroxide to react with our, our long clippings uh, enough to create spontaneous combustion of the grass. So again, what's happening is the hydrogen peroxide is breaking down into water and oxygen. And as that's happening, that's uh, creating an exothermic reaction. So it's creating heat and the grass uh, that heat was enough for the grass to actually catch on fire, aided by the oxygen that is coming off of that reaction that is breaking down. So really, it's kind of like the perfect storm. So hydrogen peroxide is not flammable by itself, but it can make other things catch on fire. Uh, so this is a really good example to never dispose of 35% hydrogen peroxide in a dry lawn or on anything that is carbon based. Um, Cause this literally could happen like out here in California and create like a forest fire and that, or it could even catch something else on fire like your house. So that'd be no good. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, were you guys super surprised that with just hydrogen peroxide alone and some dry grass, we created fire. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon. Okay, so the shirt, the shirt finally went up. I was just holding it and I was just telling Sam how I was like, dude, I'm wearing a different shirt. We're actually filming a different episode. And I was just like, uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. And I just threw the shirt in there and the shirt just went up. I mean, it was red. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Wow.